What up, Fortnite fam? I'm Matt, and this is the very first update of Chapter 3 Season 3, and we're going to break it down in under 5 minutes. But hey, before any of that, this patch reset everyone's arena points, which means the grind for arena has started up once again. Do you know the quickest way to improve? Duh! The answer is heading over to ProGuides.com and being guided through the game by one of our pro coaches. It's the fastest way to improve, and that means it's the fastest way to climb. First up, as usual, let's check a look at the changes to the Fortnite map in this patch. Reality is twisting and changing as the effects of the reality tree are being made known. And as a result of that, a brand new area has risen up in the wintry top left area of the map. This reality warping manipulation has changed Logjam Lumberyard and a smaller reality tree can now be found there. Outposts across the Fortnite island have also risen up and all of them are run by the Imperials of the Star Wars universe. The Butter Barn is unfortunately gone and in its place is a brand new futuristic POI. Finally, the rebuild of Tilted Towers is continuing after it was obliterated in the event last season. Hopefully, by the end of the new season, this much-loved location will be back to its former glory. Next up, we're talking mechanical changes and weapon additions. If you head to one of the Imperial camps, you'll find this interesting new chest. Opening it will grant you either Vader or Obi-Wan's lightsaber, both of which can be thrown like a boomerang. Alongside the Stormtrooper's return, the E-11 blaster rifle has also reappeared to be used. The Sawblade launcher files have been updated. We now know it's actually called the Ripsaw Launcher, but we don't know when it'll be properly added to the game. There's also a firework gun that will reveal enemies when fired into the air, but we also don't know when this gun will be added. As for other mechanical changes that aren't linked to weapons, the Ballers have been updated. They now consume less fuel when driving or boosting, so you'll be able to use a baller for longer. With all that covered, let's take a peek into the future and check out the skins that will be added this patch. For the outfits, we've got a lot of Naruto characters, so forgive me if I butcher these names because I've never really been a major Naruto fan. Anyway, we've got Gara, Hinata Hyuga, Itachi Uchiha, Orochimaru, and finally, Foxfire, which was originally designed by the Twitter user Bullseye. Once again, I'm really, really sorry if I butchered any of those Naruto names. For the backblings, there's the Black Ops mask, Hinata's backpack, the Sand Gourd, Bushy's Bulb, the Macaw Darkwings, and finally, the Fire Fangs. There's two new gliders, Gara's Sand Cloud, which can only be used by Gara, and the Manda, Pickaxe's next. We've got the Sword of Kusanagi, the Tropic's Beak, the Fire Fangs, and Minato's Kunai. Last but not least, the Raps. There's the Gimme Moor, the Tropical Infrared, the Akatsuki, and the Immortal Oasis. So that's everything new this update. There's actually been a ton of map changes this time around, which is pretty different from how things usually are these days. I guess with the reality tree dominating the Fortnite island, we can expect a ton more changes as the season progresses, which is pretty cool. What do you think about this update? Let us know in the comments below and I'll be answering some of your replies. And hey, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like it and subscribe with the bell notification button turned on. We're going to have a follow-up short checking out some of the new locations when the servers go up, so you're going to want to sub for that.